Welcome to Message Ops Getting Started with Microsoft Office 365 Tutorial. This is part three of the series. We've been talking about what Office 365 is and the things you can do with it to help your business. So what exactly is involved in getting yourself on board? This video will take you through the process to getting up and running with Office 365 from the moment you receive the notice that you have an account until you are fully set up with all their services. You can start by accessing the Microsoft Online Portal by going to portal.microsoftonline.com. From this site, you can download the software needed to set up your system for use with Office 365, including the Office 365 Setup Utility and the Link 2010 client. With Office 365, you can access your email in a browser with the Outlook Web app, attend or create meetings with Link Online, and you'll also find a link to your team SharePoint site. This makes it convenient when traveling because as long as you have an internet connection, you can access your email through Outlook web app. In addition, you can reset your password, set up your Office 365 profile, and access online help. Using the Office 365 services is like logging onto a banking system or a community portal where you have a unique sign-in name and password. Before you can sign in, you will be provided with a username and password. When you sign in to the Microsoft Online Portal for the first time, you will be prompted to change your password from the generated password to a personal password. Note that you will be the only person with access to your personal password. The service administrator will not be able to recover your password. Be sure to remember the password you enter. After 90 days, you will need it in order to change your password. The initial landing page of the Microsoft Online Portal gives you links to help you set up your computer to work with Office 365. We'll cover these tasks in more detail in just a minute. The landing page also provides links to the Quick Start Guide to your online version of Outlook called Outlook Web App to install an instant messaging tool, and to access your team sites. Although the Microsoft Online Portal gives you one-stop shop access to these Office 365 features, you can also navigate directly to any link by adding it as a favorite in your browser. There are three main steps you need to take to setting up your computer to work with Office 365. The first step in setting up your computer is to download Office Professional Plus. Office Professional Plus 2010 provides the best experience for working with Office 365. Office Professional Plus is included with some but not all Office 365 plans. Your company may have a plan that includes Office. If you do have access to Office Professional Plus, be sure to install it when you have been advised to do so. The second step is to make sure that your computer has Link 2010. If it hasn't already been installed, you can download it and install it from the same downloads page. Link Online works with the Link 2010 client. Make sure you install Link 2010 before you run Office 365 Setup. The last step is to run Office 365 Setup on your local computer. This application checks your Windows system for required updates and configures your Office applications to work with Office 365. Office 365 Setup should be run on computers that will access Office 365. The Setup automatically configures Microsoft Office and other applications for the best Office 365 experience. After this step, your install will be complete. In this tutorial, you have set up Office 365. In our next tutorial, we will discuss personalizing your workspace. For more tutorials, please visit www.messageops.com.